A subroutine is the name given to a piece of code that is a smaller part of your main program. Subroutines can be used many times in the program. Imagine you are making breakfast. You might make a cup of tea and cereal. Later on in the day, you might make another cup of tea. After you make your dinner, you might make another cup of tea. Before you go to bed, you have another bowl of cereal. If this were a program, you could break this down into three subroutines, each of them being used a different number of times. The thing is that we would write the code for make a cup of tea only once, but then use it three times. This is because you generally make a cup of tea in the same way. Subroutines can be split into two kinds, functions and procedures. This lesson will look at procedures. A procedure is a piece of code that goes away and does something. Imagine you are given some money and told to go to the cinema. You are going away, doing something and bringing nothing back. Let's create a simple procedure to print out hello world. Let's look through this Python code line by line. We first create our procedure. All procedures need to have a name. We've called this one print hello. The word def is short for definition. Next we have the code that runs whenever we call this procedure. In our case it's a simple print command to write hello world to the console. We can have as many lines of code in here as we like though. Finally we use our procedure. When you use any procedure you are said to be calling it. This is because you are using it by its name. This is what makes Python actually run the code in the procedure we defined. You can see we simply write the name of the procedure followed by brackets. It's important to note that you must define a procedure before you can use it. If you'd instead written the code like this, then you get an error message saying the procedure hasn't been defined yet. When using procedures, we can also use parameters. A parameter is anything your procedure might need to do its job. It is like a variable that we can use to pass data to the subroutine when we call it. Think about going to the movies. You would need money. Imagine your parent or guardian said, here is £20, go to the movies. The £20 is a parameter. Without it, you can't go to the movies. The process of giving a procedure one or more parameters is called passing. Let's look at a simple procedure that takes a number and if it is less than 10, prints out this number is less than 10. Otherwise, it prints out this number is greater than 10. Let's look through this Python code line by line. We first create our procedure giving it the name check number. We have given this procedure a single parameter called input number. The code on lines 2 to 5 is our code block that we want to run when we call our check number procedure. You can see we check the value of the parameter input number and output an appropriate message. Finally, we've called our procedure twice with two different values. Firstly, we've passed the number 5 into your procedure and then we call it again passing the number 11. Here we've used two integer parameters. However, parameters can be any of the data types that we have learnt about in this course. When using subroutines, it's important that we understand the concept of local and global variables. Local variables are variables that are created in a procedure or function. They are only visible and used in that procedure or function. Global variables are defined in the main program and can be used anywhere. Constants can be local or global too. Imagine you have been given £20 to go to the movies. While you are there you buy some popcorn. You will eat this while you are there. When you leave the cinema you get rid of the popcorn. The popcorn is local to you going to the cinema. Let's look at a simple program that will add 10 to any input number. Let's look at this Python code line by line. We first create our procedure, giving it the name add10. As before, we have given this procedure a single parameter named input number. Inside our procedure, we declare a variable called number to add, 
in which we store whatever is in the input number parameter plus 10. Since we declared number to add inside the procedure, it is therefore a local variable. Finally, we print things out. Let's now look at how your procedure is used. On line 4 we have declared a variable called x which will store an integer the user inputs. As this is declared in our main program and not in our procedure, it is therefore a global variable. In some languages such as OCR ERL, we use the global keyword when declaring the variable. This is not needed in Python though. Finally, we call our add10 procedure. This time though, we are passing the x variable. This is actually going to pass the value stored in variable x into the procedure. However, because the x variable is global, we could technically write this code without using a parameter. You can see that, as x is a global variable, we are able to access it directly within the procedure, without ever passing it via a parameter. So, subroutines are small pieces of code that do a specific job and can be reused as many times as necessary. Subroutines can either be functions or procedures. A procedure is a piece of code that goes away and does a specific job. A procedure does not return anything to the main program. When you want to use a procedure, you call it. A parameter is a variable that a procedure needs to do its job. Parameters are passed into the procedure from the main program. A local variable is a variable declared within a procedure. They are available only inside the procedure and can only be used inside the procedure. A global variable is declared in the main program and can be used anywhere.